Hey y'all, what's up? So, just came from the dentist and I have to get, it's a long story. So, just came from the dentist and now I am on my way into the mall because I have bought a coat from Zara and it's cream and I haven't gotten a chance to wear it and I end up getting like dye transfer all over my cream coat from Zara from a black leather coat that I have and so I am going into Zara to see if they have another coat like the one I basically destroyed and it's crazy because I just pulled the tag off last night and I was going to wear it today and that's when I noticed the dye transfer and I googled everything and it said that you could use um like a color bleach a bleach for color and that did not help so I'm pissed but it's my fault so I'm headed back in the car so we'll see what they got okay so I'm back in the car Zara did not have the bomber jacket so kind of irritated because I should have known not to put my black leather coat jacket whatever in front of it and I did and like I was telling y'all before now I have color transfer all over my jacket on the front it's all on the collar um, because the leather jacket that it was in front of or behind it had like fringe on the sleeve so some of the fringe it's a mess so I've been trying to wash it um, I've washed it twice with the color safe bleach and I've noticed that it's gotten a little bit lighter but it's still very noticeable and I think that if you don't know that it's not supposed to be there you might just think it's like a design so I'm still gonna wear it because that jacket was $89 um, I knowing me I probably got it on sale but the point is I want to wear my coat and I plan to wear it today but I don't want to walk around when it with streaks all over it but I'm gonna have to so that's that can't cry over spilled milk um time is it 106 so I need to get some gas and then I'm gonna have to pick up the kids from school and what's he doing okay and then that's gonna be that I'm gonna go home I need to cook my husband is asking me to stop by some place and get him some Jamaican beef patties I don't even know when he started eating Jamaican beef patties but whatever I'm gonna go so I'm gonna go there and then I got these macaroons um, from Lady Yum. You guys might have I'll um, put in a clip of me while I was in there. I didn't want to record the whole store because they did have a lot of music. But it's really cute inside. Um, and there was people in front of me online. So I wasn't going to just be recording the whole store but i did record while i was kind of like walking around looking at the cookies um i'm not a big macaroon fan but my daughter is she loves macaroons so uh let's see some of the flavors i got since i'm at a red light um the green is mint chocolate chip and then the this one is like a animal cookie one and then i got I think these, this brown one is um, cookies and cream. And then I got a toffee or a coconut and something. And then one of them is a unicorn. So I pretty much got like repeats just because, oh here, I'll show you the back without the sticker. Cause I wanted to get something I know that the kids would like. And she said that the mint chocolate chip is like a favorite of most kids so i said why not who doesn't like mint chocolate chip so anyway uh i feel like i'm just kind of rambling at this point because i really don't have much to say so i'll catch back up with y'all um s'mores mint chocolate chip is that okay mint chocolate chip this is, is really it? popular kids love this one like, so let's do two because i have two yeah it's funny because like it's not the flavor i would think would be 
Okay, let's do unicorn. Maybe unicorn. Um, circus animal. I think my son would like cookies and cream. Maybe let's do how many do I have left? I'll do two. Is that one pretty good? Okay, then let's go back and I'll do another mint and circus animal. Yes. All right, so <laughs> I'm at the gas station and this girl is talking so loud. You hear her? She's talking to the car right next to her. Like, friend, what are you yelling for? Y'all hear her? she's so loud but I'm getting some gas and then whew, I'm gonna go pick up the kids well in a little bit I think I got about an hour before I have to pick them up but I think I'm gonna just go um to my parents house real quick because I'm not beefing with my dad no more um so I'm gonna go use the bathroom at their house and then just go down to the kids school because their school has like no parking in the front and so in order to get any street parking in the front of the school, you have to be there like 45 minutes early because people be getting there because they don't want to walk around from the back. So $56 so far with the gas prices going up. My car is usually 60 bucks. I guarantee it's probably going to be, it's probably going to be about 70, <laughs> but not on my watch. Let me go stop because no. no, no. All right. So 66, 68 and I stopped it. Why is gas so expensive? You know, I've been thinking too. I'm like, maybe on my next car, I should get one of those electric cars. I know they're a little bit more expensive, but I think when you do like the price of the car, like I was saying, by the time you pay for the car, you already pay your, um, your car payment and gas, I mean, you're already spending a nice little piece of change because I have an Acura and my car is usually $62 to fill up, except for now with the gas prices going up, um, it's, um, it was 66 and I'm, I assure you that if I were to let it keep doing its thing, it would have been about $70 or more. So, man, I tell you, I hate coming over to the Rainier Beach area, but I have to, because this is where my people stay. But you just, I don't know, you just get tired of seeing people not doing nothing with themselves. Like, why are grown men sitting outside the grocery store not doing nothing? not doing nothing and then one day i was going in and the man was like hey miss lady no sir no sir no sir no no absolutely not i cannot i cannot <laughs> no 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 i don't want nobody I mean, I'm already taken, but I don't want nobody who has time to hang out in front of the grocery store for a whole work shift. You can keep that. Go on, sir. Go on. All right, so I'm back in the car again. I feel like I've been spending my whole day off in the car, but I'm outside my kids' school. I'm going to pick them up and my niece. Um, so today... I went to um, the dentist because I have to get a, I'm getting a dental implant in the back. Um, so I, this was supposed to be like the last part where they were going to place the implant. But I wasn't able to get it done because when I went to the dentist office so that they could size, do the impression to send to the lab, blah, blah, blah. 
and they were rushing um because they were behind and i'm assuming that they must have used the wrong mold or however they whatever they do that the gooey stuff to make the impression they measured me wrong because girl the tooth <laughs> the tooth was too big for the area in my mouth and so the dentist he was trying to like shave it down and he would then so he shaved it down and it was so stinky it smelled like whatever whatever it's made out of it, it stunk but he shaved it down he was able to shape it to where it would fit but then the post that he's supposed that you're i guess the screw so to speak that screws down and the the piece that's already implanted in my gum um the screw was too long so when he was like can you bite keep biting try to bite i couldn't even bite because every time i closed my mouth i was coming down on that one tooth i was like sorry this ain't gonna work like take this mexican piece of gum like you know, know them little mexican gums the little chiclets take this shit out of my mouth and and run me back a new tooth so let's just start over i was like this is not gonna work like i can't even close my mouth and i told my friend i was talking to my friend kiffany the night before and i told her they better not have no big ass tooth for me and that's exactly what happened so note to self if the dentist office if they're running behind and rushing but i'm just gonna reschedule um i wasn't mad though because i mean i rather have it right than for them to try to force something that well it wouldn't they couldn't afford it anyway it wouldn't fit I couldn't, I couldn't even close my damn mouth so but the dentist dr cody he is very nice he's from florida he's um very talkative very personable and then the assistant today um her name was shauna she was so sweet um <laughs> but i don't know so i'm supposed to go back in two weeks hopefully because they weren't rushing and she seemed to know exactly what she was doing um hopefully when i go in on the 17 everything is right they can place the implant and i can go so let me just give you a little backstory on why i need the implant i have braces and i got braces because i don't like this space and i wanted to close it up and everything got corrected but this space would not close so but it okay i digress let me go back so for the last probably like year and a half of me having braces i kept complaining every time i went into the orthodontist that that tooth because that tooth is the one that had the bracket around it that your braces basically connect to and i kept telling them my tooth is hurting it's hurting and they kept saying oh the, it's the bracket is digging my gum was swollen it would bleed it was so painful and so every time i go I complain about it because I wanted it to be documented and I just kept being told goggle with um, warm water make sure you're using your water pig make sure you're trying to you're flossing under your braces or between your you know so I was none of that was working and so finally when I took my braces off and I had to get a x-ray once I got my braces off I end up seeing my dentist for a cleaning right after they're all in the same office and they discovered that that tooth I had been complaining about, actually, I had gotten a cavity. And because it had been like a year and a half, now we were at the point. So three months after I got my braces on, I had to get the tooth removed that I had to pay for. And then it's like you have to get like a scan, um, like this disc for the implant. So I've spent well over four or five thousand dollars just for this implant i only paid 3600 for my braces out of pocket so if you have braces if you go to the dentist more specifically if you have braces and your teeth are bothering you or a certain tooth is bothering you make them listen to you because you can end up in my position where now you're spending unnecessary money and it's unfair because 
I, I complained about it and complained about it and complained about it. But you know what? It's a new issue now because I've already paid the last thousand dollars that I'm going to be getting it fixed. I thought it was going to be today, but it's not. So I just have to wait. I like people watching it. I came down here early so I could just sit while I waited for the kids to come out. But anyway, I'm going to... um. I'm gonna call y'all back because I have to go get the kids. Okay, so I secured the beef patties. So it's a food All truck. Right, so today's outfit is a bucket hat from H&M. Coat H&M, I think I got this for like $15. Michael Kors backpack purse that I wear crossbody. And then I'm wearing um, Skims set and this color i think is called clay rose and then i'm wearing excuse all these boxes y'all and then i'm wearing these valentino sock sneakers that are very similar to the balenciagas um fraction of the price but very similar in style so anyway we gotta go so I'll see you guys what is the bbl my stop yeah. what is uh, it it's something that you get and you put like something in your butt to make it bigger. Well, I didn't get a BBL. Yes, you did, Auntie. No, I did not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. I've never had one. Yes, you did. Why are you convinced? Because you got a big butt, Auntie. But I've never had a BBL. Yes, you did, Auntie. No, I have not. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, 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 yes. My, yes. Hey, this booty is from your grandma no yes you and grandma have a big butt but they ain't the same yours is bigger and hers is a little small <laughs> you really are you really get on my nerves <laughs> and why don't you ever have a shirt on <laughs> i'm working out i i'm gonna do some jumps let's go like this like this no wait no we don't <laughs> You and your sister are nuts. What are you doing? I need to go to the bathroom. Oh my God. I gotta go to the bathroom. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hi, 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 hi. Hi guys, I'm going back to my YouTube channel today. My auntie is vlogging. Even though she do got BBI. I did not, I do not have a BBI. So it's Saturday um, the 5th and our March 5th. And Maya and I, we are on our way to go pick up our candles. I don't know if you watched the last vlog. If you didn't, you should. Um, we went to the candle bar to make candles. And so we are now here to pick them up. So I'll show y'all what they look like once we're done. All right, so candles secured. Here's two of the three. Maya has hers. She said they smell good. So I haven't smelled mine yet, but do you guys see the skin? No makeup, this is just natural, natural. Look at that. Anyway, so yes, can't wait to burn it. See what it smells like, um, because Maya didn't like the way it's, the way hers smelled when we were doing it, but she likes how it smells now that it's what is the word cured. So I don't know. I'll let you know how they smell once they burn. But we're on our way to Ulta um, and Sephora. So all right. Yeah. So quick pit stop. Maya wants to go to this. Um, frozen yogurt place called element so it's like where you weigh you just pay for the cup and then you can fill it with however much stuff you want What's up? So it is um, March 8th, and if you hear it echo, it's because I am in a house that my dad had built and bought. So I'll give you guys a little tour. Um, I'll give you a little tour. 
Um, my dad had this, it's a new development. And so my dad um, bought one of the houses as an investment. So let me give you a little tip. So I'm gonna step back. This is the kitchen with the dark cabinets. And I love the island. And then the living room with the gray walls and the dark, kind of rusted look, kind of rusted floors. I don't know, what do you think? I like it. So we're gonna go this way, down this hall, and then we have a nice little, well, you wanna be in a closet? This little closet. Okay, so I'm on the second floor. So that is a window from the second floor. There's two, which is nice because then you get a lot, of, a lot of light. Then you have the stairs. Then you have your washer and dryer. And then you have you have the master bedroom. And then the master bathroom with the gray floors double vanity and then you have a small walk-in closet which is nice i like the shower the only thing about the showers is that i'm not a huge fan of glass showers um only because who wants to be clean enough and i don't have no maid coming to my house. So who's going to clean the glass? And then this is another bedroom. This one's kind of small. But if you had like a teenager, little kid, then we have pantry, or not pantry, but a linen closet. And another bedroom. And a fourth bedroom. Yes, this carpet is really comfortable. Then we have another bathroom. So this house is four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, double car garage. But then here you have your, I don't know, I think that's the water heater. And then whatever this thing is over here. So this is nice because usually your water heater is in the garage taking up space. But this way it's kind of tucked away and you have a little area to put like a Christmas tree or whatever to kind of keep your garage clean. But people remember, you're not supposed to block your water heater and put stuff in front of it. Even though I do, you shouldn't. Um, but yeah, cute, huh? Hey y'all, good morning, happy Saturday. Um, I don't really have nothing planned for today, but I did get some stuff from um, Zara that I did want to show you guys. Zara's got some really cute stuff out. Um, I'm thinking that we are headed into a color wave of like oranges and pinks and bright greens and pastels and whatever else. And I'm here for it because I love color. So um, when I went in, that's all that there was. Just bright colors everywhere. So I did pick up a couple items. Um, I was just going to show you guys, but I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just try them on for you. Um, for size reference, most of the stuff I get from Zara is either a um, medium or a large. Um. Okay, so this is my first set from Zara. So this is so cute. I absolutely love the bright orange and then it is like it's knitted too it's really really soft and as I told you guys before the top is a medium the pants are large this is how they fit now I will say they are see-through so you are gonna wear um want to wear like a black underwear underneath um the shirt was $39.99 the pants were $35 90 or sure sorry the shirt was 39.90 pants were 35 90 so i'm gonna come up a little bit closer so you guys can kind of like so you can kind of see how the material is like knitted and you can see my skin same thing for the shirt and the pants and again you know you can see through them if you are i'm five five for reference um if you are like five seven five, maybe even like five eight 
these would fit you really good if you're five nine they may be a little too short um because you can see i have all this extra material underneath or not underneath girl but at the bottom um but like i said super comfortable love the color nice summery color vacation clothing or you know just whenever you just want to be popping and you going to do whatever you know just throwing something on so on to number two okay so this is outfit number two um this is a lavender set and it's very stretchy um but the pants you can see the side they're very stretchy i did get both pieces in a large um because when you hold it up they look very small but again because the material is stretchy um just i would get like your normal size um the shirt was 17.90 and the pants were 27.90 and what i like about this outfit is that one i love the color i love lavender um the other thing is too because this outfit i don't know if you guys can see it um or if it'll pick up on camera but this outfit has like lines in it and the lines in the pants and the lines in the shirt they match up perfectly here i'll come a little closer you can kind of see the lines i'm talking about and then lines in the shirt and they kind of like match up like perfectly so um this outfit if you have a big behind then i mean it is going to be showing the booty but honey it is also going to be showing the belly so if you're like me and you have a little bit of belly if you don't mind showing it um then i mean sis go off <laughs> i'm trying to lose mine but um yeah but this outfit what i do like about it is this is an easy day to night outfit i'll show you like kind of like like day with a jean jacket you know just kind of cute casual um this jean jacket i think is from like jc i don't know but or if you have like a little moto jacket i would either do black or white but i thought white would be cute because of the color i thought white would go good so you know just a little night outfit and depending on where you live you could throw on some like sandals or a cute little sneaker or like i said you can even just do black um i think yeah i don't know i would yeah i think you get away with either or um i definitely do like it with the jean jacket because i do like that daytime comfy cute comfy put together look um yeah so all right on to i'm gonna show you guys i don't know i don't know I'm, whatever i pop up in that's what i'm trying on next okay so here is um the next pair of pants or the third pair of pants these are the ones that i was telling y'all that i ordered the matching shirt to um which i think is kind of like a Holter top. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But I did order the matching pant or shirt to these. These pants were $35.90 and the shirt was $20, 20 something ninety. I know that after tax um, and shipping it was like $36. So before the shipping it was like $30. So I just kind of paired this with a bodysuit turtleneck just for the sake of showing y'all what it looks like, what the pants look like. But these pants too are that of like a get close kind of like a i don't know like a knitted material and they are very comfortable they don't have as much stretch to them as the purple pair or the orange pair but they definitely do have some stretch you know so but like i said not a lot this i did get these in large i know that the biggest size is the extra large um, my Zara did not have it um, in the extra large, but I do believe they do have them online. And this is, these are new because um, I have went to Zara a few days prior to getting these. And when I went, they didn't have these. And when I went to return some things I have off of my daughters, they had them then. So I was like, oh yeah, these are, these are super cute. So again, 
If you want to get these, they are Zara and they are $35.90 and they do have a matching shirt. Okay, and then the last thing that I bought from Zara was this t-shirt. It is green. It was $10 and they had this shirt, at least, like I said, at my Zara, this shirt came in about five other colors. Um, has like a little pocket right here and it's short. So I am wearing it with some like high-waisted Levi's, at least they're high-waisted on me. Um, and it's just cute, casual, comfy. I just wanted something that was a little more fitted. I didn't want it to be like oversized. Just something where I could just throw on and go. Um, again, like I said, this was $10. I did get this shirt in a large. Um, and then my Zara had it in white. I think purple, this really pretty blue, this color. And I want to say maybe yellow and red, maybe. Um, but anyway, if you want to get one, head over to Zara because they should have plenty online or in your Zara. Because again, these are new. Um, cause when I went a couple days prior, they didn't have them. And then when I went, um, like two days ago, they did. So girl, get you one cute, comfy, $10. Can't beat that. So I do have some other things I think I'm going to show you guys um, you, while I'm already doing this. I bought two jumpsuits from Boohoo, so I'm going to just show you guys those. And then I bought this, these cute pair of um, pink white leg pants from H&M. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and put those on um, and just show you guys what those look like. Okay, so next I have these pink white leg pants they're not very long so um again i'm five five if you're taller than me these are probably gonna look like high waters on you um yeah they probably look like high waters and i just paired it with this um graphic tee from tilly's this tee was 22.99 and these pants um were 17.99 i did get these in a 12. they do have um in an orange color like a bright orange but they didn't have my size and i just thought these were super cute and um, again these pants you could take from day to night because i love the color um pair with a white button up shirt and a little black jacket i don't know whatever you would pair it with but these pants are so cute and i love this graphic tee i do have it bought up in the back but it's pretty long so you could wear this t-shirt kind of how you want it to and i like the you can see the design on it and all of the colors so i don't know i don't know if i would wear these two together i probably would at some point and just kind of knot it up in the front or the back but yeah it's cute now this t-shirt is really comfortable this t-shirt is in a large because i did want to get this oversized uh and the extra large just would have been too big so tilly's H&M. Okay, so next up, I had got this white jumpsuit from Boohoo. It was, it is $11.99 because they do still have it. I got mine in a size 10, US size 10. You know, this is really stretchy, like super duper stretchy. I actually could have gotten this in a size 8. And this is tall girl friendly. Like if you are tall, this is super long. Um, I was gonna order in an eight, but you know, I was like really realistically, how much am I actually gonna wear this? I don't think it was worth me spending on my, like another $11. Um, me, I did pull on my long duster sweater because me, I would probably wear this with a sweater, come a little close, because this material is see-through. And I mean, let me take that back. If you wear black underneath, you're probably going to be okay. But if you're trying to walk out with white underwear, red underwear, anything but black, everyone and their mama going to see what you have underneath. I would probably just, like I said, wear mine with the sweater. I got this sweater on clearance at H&M for $33. I think it was originally like um, $59. But it's super cute. 
it's really thick. And what I liked about it was the bell sleeves. Sorry y'all if this um, little haul is not what you're used to on YouTube. This is my, this, I don't usually do these. So this is kind of like my first time doing like a little haul for you guys where I actually like put the clothes on and talk about them. So I'll get better with time. Don't worry, I'll get better. But even the sleeves are long. So again, if you're tall, you know, this would work for you it's pretty long i did also get this in a cream color um it's a little lighter than this um sweater which is i guess like oatmeal so i don't know i'll try that on for you though okay so this is the other jumpsuit and the um tan color i mean it's like tan oatmeal i'm gonna come a little closer so you guys can see this is like the color and again these are tall girl friendly and me um i would or i plan to wear this wear with like something kind of like this just like a little oversized blazer um i did get this blazer from zara last year during the clearance and this is like super oversized like this is an extra large and it is huge, but, and it has shoulder pads, but that's kind of what I wanted, because I wanted something to just be kind of casual, cute. You know, if you go out somewhere and you just want something on your arms or anything going into, it could be hot outside and you go out to a restaurant and they have the air conditioning on, it's always nice to have something you can put on your arms. So that is this look. And again, these jumpsuits are super long. You can kind of see where the material is kind of like gathering because I'm, it's long so i would actually need to pull it down to make it like look a little smoother up top but then you have all this material gathered at your foot so um i don't think it's worth taking to the cleaners and having them you know fix it for you only because it was 11 dollars. so for me what i'm gonna do is I'll either just tuck it underneath um, or wear it with some boots or if you wear it with some socks and you wear your socks over, no one will know. So that's my plan to do one of the three. Anyway, so that is all of the clothing that I had bought that I wanted to share with you guys. And I have some other stuff from like um, Ulta and Sephora, but I'll show you guys that stuff a little bit later. All right. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys some things that I got from Sephora and Ulta. So first from Ulta, I got this, um, it's like a, it's by Essence. It's called Hello Good Stuff Milky Face Moisturizer, Calming and Hydrating with Turmeric. And turmeric has a, some really good like skin benefits. Um, so this is what this looks like. And it's 90% um, natural ingredients. And it does say on the back of the bottle that it is ideal for, um, um, it's ideal for a makeup base. So I don't know why I couldn't think of that. But this was like, I don't know, I think it was like maybe $5. So I just wanted to try it. So the next thing I got was this Laneige, Laneige, everybody says it's different, but it's the water bank moisturizer for um, not, for normal to dry skin. So like that, and this is what the box looks like if you don't know. And this was $30, 35, 38, somewhere like that. So I, so I have not opened this yet. So that is the moisturizer. I'm currently using um, Clinique, but I've used Clinique before and then I decided I was gonna try it again. I myself do not really care for their Clinique moisturizers. To me, they are too um, thin and I like my moisturizers to be a little more on the thick side. Not so thick that you can't rub it in, but thick enough to where, you know, it goes on nicely, I feel, like I'm wearing something because I just don't like to feel 
dry or anything like that so it does also come with this little like spoon so that you're not dipping your fingers in your moisturizer like i do i don't even think i'll be using this i probably will just like get a little bit rub it in i also wanted to try the um the hd skin makeup forever so that is that and i got mine in the color 3y52 right there and this is what it looks like cute little bottle and i will say i am not like a huge makeup person like i'm not the one you're coming to for like makeup tips but i will say that when i got this i put a little bit on and it really does live up to its name it really is hd it's really light and i this was a shot in the dark honestly I was looking at the pictures online on the um, Sephora website. I literally had my finger <laughs> and I was placing my finger next to the different girls, like the models who were wearing the makeup and found one. I was like, I think we're about the same color and boom, it actually matched. So I did that. So I'm going to try that. Um, and then this is like totally off subject, but I got this because I'm trying to do better about taking my vitamins. Um, and I just found that it's easier if I just take them with me. If I'm out and about, when I remember, I can just pop them in. Um, granted, I have some water or something with me, but this was $2 at Walgreens. So get you one if you need to take your vitamins and you forget like I do. So 